I want to be a designer when I was young. It didn't happen. We should be thankful for this. Yeah, my best age, gone. From 13 till I got married, I came to Greece. Uh, no language, no family, no nobody. Not from my side, not from my husband's side, nobody. My family is half Bulgarian and half Greek. My mother's side of the family came from Bulgaria, and my dad's side came from Greece. It was a few years ago, maybe 10 years ago, but I think that that was around the time that I became more conscious of what the history was between Greece and Bulgaria during this period of time. On the one hand, I'm very grateful that Bulgaria did save its Jews, and that tells my mother's side of the story. But my father's side of the story is that, you know, it was under Bulgaria's occupation of Greece, um, that was responsible for his family perishing. And how do you reconcile that? And, you know, what's the story that you can live with comfortably? This is in English, and it's the same translation in different languages which informs you that you are entering a former Nazi concentration camp, which was active between summer 42 and then in 43, in August, after, after this uprising, right? It was closed. Everything that we are going to see is like symbolic because nothing was left here. So when we enter, it's like a symbolic entrance to the camp. which means the road of death leading to the gas chambers. ZSSR is Soviet Union, Belgium, Yugoslavia, France, Czechoslovakia, Poland, Bulgaria, Germany, and Greece is here, and Macedonia. I started this journey with Elka, never knowing where it would lead us. I feel like I was meant to come here and you were all meant to accompany me and that we're doing something important. Because it's my family, maybe I feel more pain, but to tell you the truth, it, we're all one. It doesn't matter who you are, we're all vulnerable. We just have to remember that it was organized by cultural people, educated people, and always, uh, they, whenever they start to pick on someone, you can be next. Coming to these places, I'm kind of blown away by the contrast in that they're places of horror, but yet they're so beautiful. You have the birds are chirping, the trees are beautiful, and so it's kind of hard to process all of that.